can you explain what an incel is? So an incel is just like someone who's involuntarily celibate. That loser sitting on Reddit for 23 hours a day um, with Cheetah Dust and empty Mountain Dew cans all around them. And it just has a real stank smell that is involved with these people. <laughs> She know good and goddamn well she shouldn't be talking about no cheetah dust. <sighs> mm. The devil want me to say something, dog. Because I'm just gonna paint you an image and like the fedora is a little yeah. crusty and the the beard the, the neck beard is strong but the facial hair is weak. And there's a bald spot in the back, and you could just and you could just see the fedora just hanging on for dear life. And he's sitting there mutter, muttering under his breath about how like Jessica Alba's uh, ugly, right? You know, Literally, like yeah. that's what you're talking about. <laughs> Can you explain what an incel? I don't support incels. I do feel as though a lot of you niggas online are part of the incel community, the way y'all be describing and the way y'all feel about women. But at the same time, in this situation, I feel as though the, the pot is calling the kettle black. There's no way you should be out here talking down on motherfuckers if you don't care about your health. The fedora is hanging on for their life. Ma'am, that chair you're sitting in is hanging on for their life. I ain't even finna go in like that. So for the guys, let me ask y'all, which is the worst case scenario for y'all? You in a gym full of people, a nigga cross you over, you fall, and he shoot a three in your face, and your girl there. Or you outside, 1v1, fighting a nigga, and he, boom, knocked you out, ice cold, you on the ground, sleep in front of your girl. Like, oh my God, I'm not gonna lie, that crossover shit might do it. What the crossover? That shit might hurt my feelings a little more, but which I think is the worst scenario. So for the... Bro, ain't no way... I Knocking me out in front of my wife. Imagine getting knocked out in front of your woman, right? And then one day y'all getting in an argument about taking the trash out. Your girl f around and say, Where was all that energy when Dante knocked your ass out? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, cause you know, you know your girl gonna do it. Women like to hit you where it hurt, bro. Where was all that energy when Dante put your ass to sleep? And knock you out in front of your woman, bro. The relationship over with. You on the ground. She over you. Baby! Baby, wake up! Baby, wake up! Deep down, she embarrassed. The moment he land that punch on you and you hit the ground and you sleep, her p*** done dried up. The relationship ain't gonna be the same no more. Hey, ma'am. A bit random, but, um, uh, can I get your number? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm like 55 years old. Oh, I like him older. You know, maybe you could, you could teach me a thing or two. That would be great. What do you think about that? I think you're too young. You're as old as my son. Younger than my son. Ah, uh, yeah? <laughs> but you don't think I'm like cute? Or? Yeah, you're cute, but you're young. So can I still get it? Um, maybe we could talk about it? Or? No. Ah, uh, okay. First off, she don't look 55, but he ain't approach her with enough confidence. I ain't no dating expert, but at the same time, I feel as though we all can hear from the sound of his voice. He wasn't confident in the approach. What I'm basically trying to say is he didn't believe that he can get her number. Hey, bro, hold on, bro. I'll be damned. I'll be damned if my son or my stepson or my nephew 
or my godson talk to me like this. He said, you a sweet. Got me spitting. You got all them guns and you ain't gonna shoot nothing. Ain't no way, dog. Ladies man. <laughs> you a ladies man. What? Man, I'm a real P around here, bro. Ain't nothing sweet. These girls play you, boy. They play you like a video. I'm surprised somebody hasn't made this into like a meme, bro. They need to make this into a meme. This little n is roasting his ass. Why it's not lighting? Why it's not lighting? No, 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 no. Why? Boy, look how these folks done turned around and, and made golf my new favorite sport. Look how these folks done made golf my new favorite sport. You know what? On a serious note, bro, I'm happy that women that are built like this are finally starting to get the respect and recognition that they deserve. Because for a long time, these skinny bitches been reigning supreme. I'm so happy that thick thighs and cellulite, yeah, I said cellulite are finally getting the respect and the recognition that they deserve. I, I ain't gonna sit here and say, you know, uh, sometimes, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing crazy. You know, sometimes a motherfucker might be too big. Okay, that's when we have health concerns. But sometimes they just right. And in this particular situation, she's just right. What do you mean? He just said our daughter. It's our daughter. You said? It's our daughter. Not you can't do that to no African me, parents. Hold on a second, eh? I'm trying to rectify an issue here. No, it's our daughter. She's asking me something. Please hold on. You say what? Stop saying our daughter. It's our daughter. Something you say? I said stop saying our daughter like that. It's our daughter. That. She know everything, but she ain't know that ass whipping was coming. <laughs> stop saying our daughter. African parents. Haitian parents, Caribbean parents, because I lumped them all, Jamaican, Caribbean, I'm Grenadian. You don't want to correct your parents, okay? Up to today, I can't correct my dad. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the video. Um, I do want to take this time out to thank you guys because... You guys have actually changed my life. I remember um, briefly talking about this in my last video, which was like a couple of days ago. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as frequently as I should, but you know, life be lifing. But I remember talking about this a few days ago, man, and you guys have really changed my life. Um, you know what? Let me grab the camera. We're going we gonna to vlog for a little bit. Where my car keys at? So, it's a lot of things that I wasn't able to do before that I'm able to do now because of the love and support that I've been getting from you guys on YouTube. So, one of the things I was able to do, which is something I've always wanted to do, was get the upgraded version of my original car. Okay, so if you've been here, you remember I had the other orange Challenger, but it was a V6. And I've always wanted a V8, and I always wanted to push the start. So, I'm not push the start. Everything is push the start now, but I always wanted to... I always wanted to do this. 
I've always wanted to do that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, okay? So I wanna thank y'all so much. And then, you know, um, I got my other car right here. That's the car I go to work with. I still have a job. But I really wanna thank y'all, bro, because y'all really have changed my life. Y'all have changed my family's lives. And I know I don't have the biggest channel on YouTube. And to be honest with you, I don't want the biggest channel on YouTube. You know, I just want to develop friendships. It might sound weird as fuck, but like, I really want to like, how I can just go in there and be on camera and be myself, that's what I want. I don't want to get so big to where now I have to think about what I have to say. Even though, you know, I do think about what I have to say because I still can't get canceled. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. The cancel society is out here. I still can't get, get canceled, but I like it. I like how it is right now. 